And let's go scream at Everard. 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 And 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 get our jacket. I, I'm, it's gotta be really funny when this loading screen finishes and we're on like a completely different area. No, we're outside and we're gonna get our jacket. Yes. Oh baby. Hey, hey Kim, why don't you jump and go get it, motherfucker? Piece of shit. The tarpaulin cloak is still hanging on the railing. The white rectangle of the River Shoals Citizens Militia is clearly visible on its back. As your okay. fingers touch the tarpaulin, Easy. it almost feels like the cloak wants to deliver There's a message of comfort through something your fingertips. Something foreboding, I don't know, to me about the fact that the cops are called the River Shoals Citizens Militia. Yeah. So you get plus one Esprit de Corp and plus one Shivers. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's just straight upgrade. Hell yeah. Oh my god, yeah. though. Look at this man with this horrible <laughs> shirt and this jacket. Oh no. This is what a detective with a lot of stat boosts looks like. Yeah, he's he's boosted as fuck. Um, also, like, hey, you know, I think any human on Earth could have, like, dangled off that ledge and just dropped onto this platform, because it does not look like you'd actually need to jump at all. But hey. Absolutely. Kim wanted me to jump, though, and die. Collect your rainwater. Cool. All right. Let's see. Um. All right. I'm just, you know, maybe there's some loot over here. Some money. Some cigarette butts. Cool. Cool. Like I, I want to make sure I look at everything, but I, I don't know what the critical path is here. That's always is, you know, terrifying. I guess I'll look in here. Yeah. This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads, Rene Arnaud. Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. Um, weird. I don't know what that, like, failing volition would have been to, like, yeah. get a read on the booth. I don't know. Um, it's almost eight. But, like, uh, I'm worried about this timer. Is the thing, volition is the thing that, uh, we failed whenever we died all those times that was like yeah. the check that kept failing and we like lost our mind yeah see okay so I, you know if we're in the middle of a conversation with everard in the time ticks like past the end of the working day is kim just gonna like be like, all right later fuckers we'll come back tomorrow so i'm like i, I, hmm. Hmm. I must, don't think so please hurry we are pretty easy to spot up here Nothing incriminating catches Kim your strikes me as the kind of the guy that would not say no to overtime. If we're <laughs> yeah. There's a framed photograph he is, on the he is table. very serious. It's a black and white the photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. The girl is smiling playfully. Okay, Why did well. you take that? Um that piques my interest. I'm a cop. I'm a cop, dude. I'm instinctual to collect evidence. It's evidence. Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping. I don't knock. I'm not gonna rest. That seems like a waste of time. All right. Well. Hey Kim, why did I take it? It's a video game. If it lets you pick something up, you gotta pick it up. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Who knows when you'll need a photo of a happy couple? All right. Well. Ever, I'm coming for you, motherfucker. You better watch yourself. First, I'm gonna look at this thing really slowly. What if I have halogen light watches you, emitting a low buzz? Okay, cool. And... White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. Okay. A lot of set dressing that's like... Yeah, and I think that's the thing about interacting with stuff, is that you never know if it's just gonna be like the one line over the head set dressing, or if... You're gonna get a fucking conversation tree with a wrench. <laughs> a yeah. rusty control panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked mush and aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attached to its hook block. Elume on etendre off. Um That was weird because it was clearly a different word entirely than what the subtitles yeah all right well um i honestly don't think i should turn this crane on but what if there's sick loot inside that container with a loud grind the 
crane shifts overhead. I wonder what the, the motivation the for like having the voice lines be so different from the the text. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Like I wonder if it's just like literally the the difference in cuz the the voice acting is new, right? So yeah, yeah very like the, like within the last couple of months I think it got patched in when they released a new version of it, the Switch version maybe. Yeah, so, like, I wonder if it's, like, they wanted to, like, revise the script, but, like, why wouldn't they just... I have to imagine it's easier to update, you know, just a text file in the game or whatever than, like, actually redoing yeah. lines. I don't know, it's so weird. And, with a yeah. surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. I can't see how that was worth the records, except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Oh, yeah, man. Crane was fun. Alright, there's gotta be something cool as hell in this uh, loot box. A dollar? Hell yeah. Dated industrial letter on the platform, Gaval Sund. Alright. Before you stands a cargo container. Just one of many in the yard. I think there's something special about this container. You do? Because I don't. Almost like I can access it. There are a million <laughs> containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? Maybe there's contraband in there. It just feels special. Yeah, I mean, it just feels special, yeah, dude. Yeah, it just feels special. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the others. No, no, no. This one I could access, Kim. We are not here to You're being a fool. Containers. We are here to get the body down from the tree. You I'm opening it. To turn the handle to this is what I'm saying about, like, the doors Kim seem to be takes his job very seriously, it seems like. But I'm not convinced he's a good cop because he's not ready to investigate anything if it he, doesn't seem exceptionally he, here, Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's his real problem. He would see a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle and say, it's not relevant to the case. And then yeah. 14 hours later, he won't be able to escape from LeChuck because he doesn't have the goddamn rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. So, yeah. No reply. Well... Maybe in this one case he might have been right, but I'll, I'll Kim, keep my eye on Kim, you, you damn case. Kim represents the person who just like mainlines through the game and doesn't look at anything. Yeah. He's a he's a character stand-in for that. Oh, it is oddly quiet. The green are sleeping. Okay, it's really weird apparently that the route to get to the Union like headquarters is on it's top of the shipping crates. Like, uh, over everything, yeah. Money? Oh yeah. So your tower is silent. There is no work to organize in the yard below. All right. But yeah, I mean, you know, every dollar we pick up is one more dollar spent for. Let's be real. We're not going to be able to afford the apartment. <laughs> no. So yeah. some more cigarettes. Yeah, cigarettes and beer. The ship on the paying the rent is sailed. Oh hell yeah! Fingerless gloves make me more able to combat. That tracks. Yeah, and just a stat bonus. There's no penalty. I'm getting very strong. We just need a half. I'm about ready to take on Ganon. Two sides of thermos. It smells like burnt coffee. Another dollar. Another dollar. Wow. The guy. The banner section of the way to break. Snow, white waves on red. Alright, well, um, I guess talk to this guy. Container, 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 container he says. Container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi. From oh, the vanishing making Splinter Cell. Hell yeah. On Moondi. Container, container, used to be Walt Pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. Hey man, this guy's rhyming <laughs> scheme could use some improvement, to be honest. <laughs> it's not good. Everard, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can this I help just... you, mister? I see you this are not a union just a man, fanboy for Everard. You get lost. You're not one of them scabs, are you? Um... No, what is it with you people and scabs? I mean, I, I know what's with them and scabs, so I don't want to say that I am yeah. scabs. You don't want to say you are a I scab. I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. Uh, okay. Just some of the other guys don't oh look too my kindly God. on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. I, I, <laughs> again, I want to, like, 
<laughs> grill him, get some XP. But like, I'm I'm just worried about the clock right now, honestly. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in the container over there? My secret container with good oh, loot. That, that should be empty as far as I know. Oh. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just That's he's covering. There's something awesome yeah. in there. There's a machine. There's the best machine gun in the game in there. He's oh, Kim's right. so smug. Oh, you want Mr. Everard then? He's an awfully nice fellow. He is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. He's got a brother. He's lived their entire not lives in the cargo container bay. Guys like Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made marginalize what it is today. Mr. Evra and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Oh, Mr. Evra is usually in his office, of course. But you gotta be quick if you wanna see him. He leaves around 10 Okay, minutes. well, so we saw two hours then, so we're doing fine. Yeah. Um, you're Ubi, oh, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in a riot, mister. Mom had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here uh, to the new, new world. I was about 10 then. Too old the to The new, new world. Then. The new, new world. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. Well, what's that now? I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Oh. My, I'm not up to any funny business with this sheep and other animal shirt is answering a lot of questions <laughs> already being answered by... Oh, I'm not I'm up to any funny for them business. Oh, yeah. Here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's a weird thing to so just easier for the open the conversation with. Huh, so asking him what he's doing is a red check, meaning if we fail this, we can never try again, which is interesting. Um, but, I mean, the alternative but, is... Yeah. Not, not trying? Not asking <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. It, it's, just, it's just conceptually weird to me that it's like, this action has consequences by asking him just what's going on here. Like, it might blow up the scene, but whatever. We're gonna win this guy check the anyway. The containers in the yard yeah. are green <laughs> in wild pines livery. It was so easy. the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in union colors. It's like some red ah, infection rival spreading containers. outwards from the container yard's core. Oh, they okay. There's a in green. Alright, yeah, so they're just basically just taking it. I mean... I feel like if you have a like a big shipping concern, uh, looking at the like color of a banner, I feel like you have to have a better inventory system than that, you know, to keep track of your stock. But hey, that's fine. No, not really. Miss Everett doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell them to everyone. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debardos Union logo on them. Yeah. Oh, no trouble at all, Mister. No trouble at all. Got some XP. Um, where is everyone? Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. That's the dream. So how one is That's working? the fucking dream. <laughs> Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Evrar is in his office, where he always is. And Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. Hmm. Alright, well, yeah, tell me what kind of trouble these guys no, got into. Did they, really did they perhaps murder that. someone and hang them behind the whirling rags or whatever? That him seems, that's where my head is at right now. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everard telling them to take some time off. Yeah, <laughs> really? Did they kill someone? No, I don't mm. think they killed anyone. Let's better talk about something else. Titus and his boys do good work. I don't want to get them in trouble over a uh, little drinking. He okay, probably well. doesn't know anything anyway. Who in their right mind would tell him? Yeah, that's a good point. Seems Thanks like a her. nice guy. Yeah, actually, like everyone yes, we've met yes. besides well, everybody needs a job. <laughs> I was about to say everyone we met from the union is actually Leonard, nice, except for uh, the racist who I had to beat up. But... Me Leo. Yeah. Leo. But he was like nice in the sense that right uh, it gave us an opportunity to do a flying spin kick. Yeah, so, yeah, that was pretty right nice. You right. was nice of him. <laughs> it was nice of him to be extremely weak so I could pass the skill check as well. Actually, Miss yeah, Beaufort they should have right picked anybody man, else to guard that button. Lady. <laughs> Who is this, Miss Beaufort? A real pretty lady with a skin like those do a sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down besides the radio. 
but I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, bu -bu -bu. I, I, let's get some more intel. Give me who's who's Miss Boofort? Oh, Lizzie, she is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything. East of the river. Okay, a lawyer. Four years Got she it. was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. He respects that word. That's obvious. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. I have a we feeling we're gonna very quickly day, come to sure. uh, butt heads with <laughs> this Miss Boofort. If me missus and me was mm -hmm. to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Dr. Lemaitre said so, and she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. Hey, I'm wow. sorry to hear that, That's Leo. So That's so sad, Leo. Miss Beefoot. Interesting. I think you're doing a great job here, yes. Leo. Keep this it up. This really seems to run like clockwork. Yeah. Keep it up, Leo. Well, thanks a lot. Coming Leo deserves praise. Lot, He's really. doing his best. Sometimes I feel some of the guys don't really get how much I bust my ass for them here. But you guys are all right. All right, we made bye a new bye ally. Bye. When, when the final like battle comes, he, he'll, he'll assist. She was over after nine o'clock, not long after nine. Okay, so I wonder if it's even gonna make us go to sleep if it's like saying you can be up at two, basically. The giant thermos is still warm. A stair made of pallets. Is up. that Everard? I. I, to be honest, I, I looked at the thing saying it's a stair leading up, and I literally didn't even parse that you could walk here. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, this must be his uh, sick office. Hang on, let me see if I can steal something from your locker real quick, my man. Taxi that's a fish. Tell us not okay, that's a cool way to do that. Good old All right, fish buddy. Clock. You know what? I'm going to do a quick save before we get in competition with him. Yeah. I feel like this guy's going to have some psyche checks. He's going to blast at me. Good call, good call, good call. Before you is a war. Oh my a god, look at his portrait. Large desk. Yeah. He looks up from his work. I hate him. A bit surprised to see this is the penguin from Batman. With great effort, he He's straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. <laughs> Let's he get straight to stares at you. Let's get straight to business. There's a dead body <laughs> in a tree. Welcome, Mr. Dubois, <laughs> Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you to Dubois. Dubois. He knows who I am. Have a seat. Tiny That's room. what the DB stood for. There actually is just so, like, one tiny chair. <laughs> I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. Uh, yeah, I forget who. Was our first name Harry or Henry? I think it was Henry. Okay. Henry Dubois. My gut says Henry, so Henry Dubois. Cool. That sounds I don't like a name. My hands, it's coming unfortunately, together. Unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You're there are two chairs. Detective. One is hiding. I can see it. Oh, you're right, you're right. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? Bunch yeah. of success. You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that. Why are you calling me Mr. <laughs> no, I think I know. I'm going to take a seat. I'll, show, I'll give him Excellent, the courtesy, Mr. right? Dubois. I can see that mm -hmm. you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men... Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. A try sly to, wink. Try to wink back. So tell I like me, that. how can the head of the Debardes oh, Union boring. help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're sitting in uh, is what? Going to be the most uncomfortable chair <laughs> in the world. Wow! It's violating your back. Look, I saw. I've sat in a lot of shitty chairs in my life. I don't think I've ever been in one for Take ten them. seconds and took health damage as a result. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, it would have to be I so heard bad. I a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners. It pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. Puts to a novelty oh. check on his desk. That's common. He's thing. gonna pay us off. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria. Hey, hell Fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, hey, I accept hey, any bribe. That's 25 of course. Yeah. Wait. That's good money. Think of all That's it? Stuff. Hang on. I take I take back the celebration. 
Bro, that does that doesn't even cover half, and I already talked him down. From yeah, why is one of the why is one of these options not? Excuse me, this is not enough money. <laughs> I'm a, wait, you know? Bert? Yes, I oh. know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work that boy is. With a grin, he points to the A real piece of work, yeah, boy. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. I, I mean, look. I want the money, <laughs> yeah. so I'm taking yeah, the money. I mean, uh, yeah, so yeah, the bottom two options are non-starters. In There's my no chance, of course. Yeah. Even if we don't pay for the room with it, think of all the cigarettes that could buy us. Exactly. Um, okay, so I'm going to thank him because I am polite. But also, don't forget it. Yes. I'm just kidding, of course. He's not. Now... I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. This guy knows too Let much, man. Let me assure man. you, union people are on it yeah. as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. His yeah, I'm, I'm like sure you are. Move, but all you hear slug like is a lips. Lost gun. Lost gun. Uh, lost gun. I don't like this guy. The world is swallowed. I by knew it. Hole of fear. There it is. Only two words escape. What's weird is we lost morale passing the lost check. And gun. Yeah. When he said, don't worry, he actually meant be very worried. I'm not worried, I got this. Are you alright, Harry? You say you've got Harry. this, but you oh, well, see okay, the to me. Harry Dubois. Harry Dubois. Everything's going to be alright. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own <laughs> mouths. It's in a safe Jesus. place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Okay, I have a three percent chance to not panic. Mm -hmm. Oh, minus one because I took the check, my and minus two because the chair sucks. Oh, minus my two because the chair sucks. He's destroying me. I'm being broken down on a mental level. Um, I want to pick this, but I'm almost certain it's gonna like do psyche damage and kill me if I fail. Yeah, when we when we fail it, because it's a composure check. God, I agree. You're sweating. I did Your pick knee it though. Is jerking. You're about to. Okay, cry, we're not. Aren't you? Dead. You're about to cry because you lost your gun, and those children are gonna shoot themselves with it. Strong men also cry. You Hell yeah. Want to cry. God, you're weak. Whatever you do. Don't cry. You'll think you're disgusting. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. Yeah, what okay. I, I saw we had heal morale critical. healing items, so I wasn't I wasn't too worried about it, what to be honest. Is he trying yeah. to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. Chill. Mr. Dubois! Mr. Dubois! Harry! <laughs> uh he is he knows my uh -oh. true name. He has too much power over me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> keep, I'll keep sliding Mr. down the chair. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Maybe you could use your hands somehow. In a kind of throw in motion. Like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. Actually, this chair is uncomfortable. I could use that glass of water. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I kind of want to go for that <laughs> because everything else that is seems like, like so pathetic. Yeah, that seems like the best one. <laughs> what an odd demonstration of, huh? You got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're wasting our time, and I'm an extremely busy man, as I'm sure you are too. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Okay, so we were able to defeat the chair, at least for now. Um, and we gotta go through all these, really, right? Yeah, we have to. I, I think you call me Mr. Dubois Why is probably... I, I really yeah, want to yeah, pick it, but I think that we have the answer to that already, you know? Yeah, and it might just, like, make this guy... I don't think we want this guy to know we have amnesia. Yeah. He already knows too much. All right, well, let's, uh... I don't know, Am I going to ask? Hell, Harry, you spin-kicked my strongest man. Yeah, I did. I saw it from my window. I'm glad you saw, motherfucker. Stand up. I got, one, I, got, I got one for you, too. 
how he got into your container yard. <laughs> you don't have Damn a window. Right. <laughs> it was a figure of speech, Harry. Of course I don't have a window. I'm in a container. Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well-informed man. Information reaches me before I even get the chance to request it. All right. Um, I'm going to pick this option. I, Again, I know that I shouldn't, but I have a... I, it's a video game. You need to pick every single option. It's just yeah. that's the law, right? Of and there course. could be five experiences at the end of it. The formalities. You call me there Edward, we go. I call you Harry. That's what the hang of the corpse called you. Harry. My god, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic science fiction amnesiac cop, aren't you? What are the odds of that? I see wow, the odds that knows way too much. Very low. It might be a good idea to hide your confusion. I mean, see what his game is for. Yeah, my memory's fine. I'm just testing you. Yeah. So good Hell to yeah. hear that, Harry. Apparently, my sources were wrong. However, if you did have a spot of memory trouble, I could help you out with my big fat folder. Well, he didn't mention that he had a big fat folder. Yeah. Words yeah. The river of honey from his lips. I guess word has already reached him. No matter. No harm done. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking about his lost identity right now. Don't just jump to wow. the folder. That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing 70 first. 70%. Yeah, 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 but it sounds like picking from the other options will increase the odds of success. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I hear my family? <laughs> These options are like, okay, well... What kind of cop is that? Because we know I'm a good ass cop, yeah. right? Harry, yeah, that's that's the one that I would be with. You're not simply a cop. You're a star. I'm a superstar you're cop. That's right, motherfucker. The drab law enforcement sky, outshining all other stars. You're a superstar. That's yeah. what I like about you, Everard. You get of me. Of course I do, Harry. And I'm gonna yeah, help you up. shine. I'm gonna put you on all the big stages. Your name in giant neon letters, Harry Dubois. <laughs> Your name is not giant neon letters. Harry Dubois. Um, what's full name again? It's what's Harry. my full name? Harry Dubois. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> spin it back. <laughs> you know what? That's that's. I'm really, really. Oh. You are Harry. <laughs> okay. I and I can work with you, Harry. Now, what else can I do for you? You about my family? Yeah, I mean, clearly. My man has some family issues, so I think he would want to know. Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you maybe strike a, yourself as a family I, man, Harry? A wonderful father. Well, yes. I'm sure you're going to make one little boy or a girl very happy and proud one day, Harry. Ah, Folder. this? My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. Huh. This translates into... Uh, uh -huh. You guys are so corrupt. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. Okay, cool. We got a I'm plus sure one. you understand. Please continue, Harry. Worth it. That's right, a five percent increase. Let's look at that folder. As you look at the folder, Everard covers it with his hand and pets it. Is he trying to hide that it's not oh, a RCM no. It certainly doesn't have the RCM stamp on it. Okay, hey, Harry, you RCM got folder. me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. You should do something about them. He got the name from the Census Bureau, and everything else from your actions here in Martinez. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsuragi, from the Census Bureau. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man. So is there anything else I can do for you, Harry? That oh, he's annoyed. He doesn't really know anything about you. A pity. The mystery of you will have to remain a mystery for the time being. I mean, I think it's honestly probably for the best that he doesn't know anything. Because I don't oh, I, yeah. I, I don't want to be like indebted to this guy at all. Which I mean we already obviously I took the check. Yeah if we took a like, twenty five dollar check. Yeah. To me twenty five dollars is a lot less than like, oh I know literally everything about you, right? <laughs> yeah. When yes. we when we know That's nothing about I ourselves. Said. Big Try big time. Up, okay? Oops Let's move on. Oh, whatever. I actually hit left on the D-pad, but, you know. We're going to heal eventually oh, anyway, probably, so. Um, yeah. 
Talk about the hanging. What's the container? Let's let's talk about getting the dead body. You down. might have noticed there's one hanging on the tree behind the hostel cafeteria. I think that the dead body hanging has been kind of an outstanding issue for us for a while here now. So getting that wrapped up would mm -hmm. probably be nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Mm -hmm. Don't take this question personally, but why would I get involved in this matter? Mr. Clare, the man was hanged with a cargo belt, a steel reinforced cargo belt. It's safe to assume the Union had something to do with the murder. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. It's a stain on the neighborhood. Yeah, you're a community leader, my man. I can Everyone certainly yeah, see how good having nature. him up there might start affecting some real estate values. But of course, all joking aside, I am going to help you. Yeah. Jean-Luc, the cop who bested you in physical combat is here, and he has a little <laughs> dead body in a tree problem. Namely, he needs it to be taken down. Please extend him this courtesy. You can find Luke down at the gates, but you already knew that. Anyway, he's going to help you. No, nice. Now okay. that he's back cool. on his feet. I... We beat this guy up, and now we have I, a henchman. I, I, yeah, I really wonder what our next interaction with him is going to be, if he's going to, like, back down on some of his, like, phrenology, racist bullshit, considering how fucking devastated he was in combat. <laughs> Yeah, he did get owned. All right. Um. Yes. Yeah, I mean, got a pretty lost gun. I feel like the lost gun thing is gonna go bad based off of I already had a mental breakdown about it. You know, five minutes ago. Yes, your lost gun. My best men are on it. They're turning every stone, searching every playground, asking kids, grandmas, everyone. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. It's just a matter of time and effort. The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding your gun hostage. I don't care. I'm gonna keep it. Um. Yeah. Oh, Ron, can you think me holding my gun Who hostage? Knows? Only one thing is certain. If you work with him, you're going to get it back. And working with him might be the only way to do it. I mean, even despite the gun thing, I feel like there's no way we wouldn't be working with him to some extent. Because... I mean... He's the guy who has all the information about this area, and that's what we need. Like, yeah. playing, playing for him for a little bit is was always going to happen. Damn it, Harry. That's exactly what it means. I'm only kidding, of course. He is not. Of course. I understand. We help you, you yeah. help us. A little bit of that quid pro quo. All right, let's uh, talk about Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin A's. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to help you like I'm helping you with the body and your lost gun. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me, but there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. I've opened a few doors in my life. And I'm sure you're going to open this one with flying colors, Harry. <laughs> this really is very simple, and there's nothing shady about it. An excellent opportunity presents itself, sire. You could win the trust of the arch liar, pretend to play into his hand. Then, should you wish, hmm. bend his yeah, I mean, that's towards your own. That's pretty much exactly what I just said, too. You know, that seems, that we're seems always like going to play this yeah. guy. Um, whose door is it? If it's that cargo container, that would be funny. Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. What? Harry, I'm a very oh. busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. Oh, thank you. You look like you could run I around I do have all four day. points. You want to send yep. someone a message that the it's police nice to get are complimented on it. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. Just go there, mm. unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. 
Okay. Um, so clearly he just wants someone to get killed, right? <laughs> yeah, Harry, my yeah, dear he's friend. trying to get somebody murdered. I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martin. Hey, Street. listen, just tell me you want me to shoot Kuno, and I'm all over it, man. You don't need to do all this running yeah. around weasel bullshit. Hell Fantastic, yeah. my friend. Just let me know when it's done, and we can take our friendship to the Ooh. next level. I love increasing my soul feelings. You can get the key from Manana. He's down by the gates. Manana's like a free agent in the Union. Special operations. Hardened socialist. A real Wait. free thinker, too. You yeah, have the key? Where the door is. One last thing, Harry. Yeah, he's got the key. So why... I mean, literally, if you just want me to unlock the door, you have the key. Just open the door. Yeah, You don't need weird. to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Yeah, that's that's weird because anyone could do that. So like, there's got to be more to this when we yeah. go actually do it, right? Why did, yeah, why does it have to be a cop? Yeah. It doesn't right, make well. any sense. My like dear container. Harry, there are literally millions of containers in this harbor. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. The special one, though. Harry, you smooth-talking yes. son of a bitch. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. Smooth-talking. Maybe that's the way to go about opening Oh, it. okay, that's a good idea. You should at least try convincing it. All right, well, Wait. get out of here. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Great. Here, you're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Thanks, man. Thanks, Everart. All right, got a level up. I pointed this point into Psyche immediately. Into Volition immediately. Yeah. That's the... Yeah, I think that's Wait, great. actually... Uh, uh, no, no, no. In case I'm wrong... Now I'm gonna put a point in this. You son of a! I accidentally locked it in. All right. Well, things went well, bad, real bad on. there. Let's um, yeah, reload real the quick save. Having some menu fun. Um. Yeah, I think I, volition is usually always the one that kills us. There we go. Okay. Yes, and now we did get an extra point morale, so that's very good. I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah. Okay, you know, I thought we were actually going to get, like, more out of the competition with this guy. I feel like I actually didn't really learn anything there, unfortunately. Yeah, no. We're going to get the body down, though, so that's progress. Yeah. I just, like, that feels more like a goal to accomplish than a, like, moves the investigation forward, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. He definitely didn't tell us anything. No. But I guess that's the point. I gotta do the sphere form or whatever first, so... Alright, whatever. Um... Actually, I take it back. We know our name. <laughs> that's a good point, yeah. That's actually some good tech to pick up. Alright, let's, uh... Let's need to whale if you were an organ. Alright, let's talk this freak open. You're back before the cargo container. Its draw has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, it seems Hell to yeah. have grown slightly. 3% chance. Guaranteed. Why are you even oh. trying to open a door with rhetoric? Getting physical wasn't an option. Wasn't an option. Using my body. Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. You can do that. I, I mean, hours. that there was a skill check for it means that <laughs> clearly you could talk yeah. it open, right? Yeah, because we could have passed it. Yeah. All right. Well. Save. I'm gonna go back to the journal real quick. Or no, not. Yeah, the, yeah, the journal. You can talk to the guy. Yeah, measure head. Get the body down. Get the key to the weasel store from Manana. End of the day. After, okay, at ten we can talk with him and collect. All right. Some a lot of things we. Do. Oh yeah, and once he goes to bed, I got all these smokes and alcohol to use too. We can get down over there. No, okay. Just on the part of the map, I guess. Wait, is this a thing here? Or did I already go over here? It's nothing. Okay. I I'm excited to go and uh, see what Major Head has to say for himself. <laughs>
whenever we get through all of the loading screens. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of doors to get through. I wonder if there's ever like any fast travel at some point in this game because I feel like the map is just going to continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Give me a lot of backtracking. 